Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. After last week, some clubs really did struggle and I'm going to get down to their clubs in just a minute. But before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. If you use the word sport, you get 10% off your purchase price. It's a really good website to use if your club's had a great day. Like an unexpected result, like I think it's West Ham versus Wolves and West Ham and 4 0. So, you know, go feel free to check it out and, you know, do a shirt like that and send me your design because I'm interested to know what you're using. But, you know, let's get straight down to this. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big front foot on you and enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Wolverhampton versus Crystal Palace. Can't quite remember how Crystal Palace got on. I think they might have drew. Wolverhampton, on the other hand, yeah, I think they won. Um, obviously, Crystal Palace going up to Molyneux. Molyneux is not the easiest place to go. So, you know, with the likes of that happening, I'm going to just about go for... I'm going to cause one a draw, I think. And I'll go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Sheffield United versus Man City. Now, Sheffield United did lose to Liverpool. Now, there was a big penalty shout. Was it a penalty? Was it outside the box? Or... What I've seen of it, I don't think it was a penalty. I do think that it was just outside the box as well. But anyway, Liverpool was, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Man City, on the other hand, they seem to be you know, struggling just so, so slightly from the last couple of seasons that they've had. This could be possibly one-sided. I'm gonna go for that one-sided just about, and I'm gonna go for a three nil Manchester City win. My next one is Burnley versus Chelsea. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Burnley lost to Tottenham, I know that. Uh, Chelsea, did Chelsea play United? I think they did and they ended up as a draw as well. This game, uh, it's going to be a bit of a tough one to decide. I'm going to go for a Chelsea win just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. My next one is Liverpool versus West Ham. Two clubs that really have, you know... Especially the likes of West Ham, you know, they've taken the games to whoever their opponents are. They really have given them a good game over the past couple of weeks. Liverpool, obviously, are a pitch of the uh, big picture, you know, about Premier League Europe, I think they're going to call it. That could really shake up the Premier League, but if that comes where I get down to that, I'm sure there'll be videos on it from my perspective. Well, oh, this one's got to be a bit hard to decide, I think. Uh, I'm just trying. I'll probably go for... See, I did that with City and that went the wrong way. I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Southampton. Aston Villa playing ever so better than Southampton over the past couple of weeks. I think Southampton won this weekend. I'm not quite sure on that. Perhaps you can update me. But Villa win, you know, straight down. I know Southampton beat Everton, didn't they? Uh, do I think that's a turning point from Southampton? Could well be. So I was, I'm going to call this one a draw, change my mind, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Everton. Everton lost their first game of the season last week against Southampton. Newcastle are apparently still trying to find their feet under Steve Bruce. I'm going to go for a... Everton win. I think they get back on winning ways this weekend. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Everton win. My next one is 
Right, before we get down to the next game, you might have realised that there weren't no upload from on Monday. Good explanation for that. I'll be playing the first chance for FIFA 21 this weekend and I will be streaming it live on my channel. That's why I've missed the upload on Monday. And there's not one draw on Friday because that's when I'm due to go live. So that's why. But if you want to see my career mode back, it probably will be back within the next couple of weeks. But that's why there won't no upload on Monday. Is Man United versus Arsenal. Two big clubs. Two massive clubs. Back when I was a kid. And we like games on telly. And we are like, oh, you know, Man United Arsenal. Who could forget that, you know, bizarre trouble in the tunnel between Arsenal and Man United, you know, all them years ago. You may be too young to remember, but I certainly do. Going forward to the game, United nil-nil against uh, Chelsea. I knew Arsenal lost, I think. I can only see this one going uh, possibly... I'm going to stick up four. <laughs> um, I'm going to stick up for Arsenal, I think, just about, and I'm going to go with a 1-0 Arsenal win. I just think that Chelsea draw might put United off just a little bit. The next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Brighton. Now, as I've said, when I do these videos, I don't support any club, but I'm just going to go on the Brighton perspective for a minute. That second half against West Brom was unacceptable. That's all I'm saying. But Tottenham ain't been doing too much better either, but I do think Tottenham might just edge this one and I'll go for a 2-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Fulham versus West Brom. Now West Brom were a team that Brighton played the previous weekend and they deserved the three points. At the second half they came out and you know they basically went let's give it a go. Brighton was so far off the pace in that second half. I'm not sure who's more upset between Brighton fans and West Brom fans who do get three points, put it down the comments below if you want to. Going forward to this game, I think Fulham do need to get off the mark if they're going to survive. I do think West Brom going to try and kick off on that Brighton game. So I'm going to go for a West Brom win and I'm going to go for a 2-0 West Brom win. My next, my next one, my last one is Leagues versus Leicester City. Now, Leagues are... You know, doing well in the Premier League. I think they're in 8th. Do I think they're going to beat Leicester? Now, this is the number one question. This is why, you know, a lot of you fans, especially your Leeds fans, who are back top two weeks in a row. I'm going to call this one a draw. And I'm going to go for 2-0. A 2-2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.